Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share what would happen if you insert the wrong kind of drive into a Drobo, which is a RAID equivalent device that ensures that your computer data is safe through its proprietary form of data redundancy. Now at home, I have two Drobo devices, which are part of my home server and backup solutions, which are the Drobo 3rd Gen and the Drobo 5 and 2. Now I've talked about this in a previous video where I uh, briefed about my home server strategy. However, the, uh, the flow of data in between the Drobos have been uh, altered slightly since then. So when I initially bought these two Drobos, I didn't buy any new drives to populate them. Instead, I simply used the old drives that came with one of the used Drobos, which was the third gen Drobo, and salvaged some hard drives from uh, other computers and other uh, external enclosures to populate uh, the rest of the disk slots. This suited me well until about a month ago when uh, some of the drives started to outright fail and some of the drives weren't really failed yet but they were starting to have a uh, low performance which uh, subsequently led to them being uh, rejected by the Drobo and some of those old drives which I've been using are actually low capacity drives and uh, and they are no longer they could no longer be used as the data accumulated uh, has been much higher since then to replace them, I used a combination of uh, true NAS drives, which in my case, I used the WD Red Pluses. And also I used some other drives, which I initially bought for other pur purposes, but uh, now I use them into the Drobo. So the first one that I used was the uh, 3.5 inch WD Blue 6 terabyte, which uh, initially worked well in the uh, Drobo 5N. But then after a while, uh, started to have some problems and then I had to, and, but then it was working in the uh, Drobo 3rd gen. And then as that uh, Drobo started to fill up, I was having some problems as well, in which the uh, WD Blue would be uh, labeled as uh, defective or uh, non-functional. And there was even a time when it was uh, actually labeled as an SSD instead of being a true uh, spinning hard drive. So, Again, I had to take that out, put it into an external enclosure and seemed to be working fine. But then again, uh, since I need to replace that drive, so I used the, at that time I had a 2.5 inch uh, Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte, which uh, again, when I inserted it into the third gen Drobo, uh, seemed to work well. But then probably about a couple of weeks ago, I started to have problems again. Uh, in which uh, firstly the performance of the Drobo became uh, really slow in which my write speeds my write speeds were as low as like uh, 10 to 15 uh, megabyte per second and then after that I was having further problems where sometimes uh, those write operations would sometimes uh, have halts uh, during the uh, operations so there would be like a few seconds where there would be no transfer at all and then after a while, then uh, the transfers would uh, resume again. And then things came to a head about uh, last about two weeks ago, when I started to have uh, disconnections of the uh, Drobo third gen. So initially, these uh, disconnections occurred uh, during heavy write operations. But then uh, about last week, it started to happen even when the Drobo itself was idle. And uh, therefore, uh, my apps would uh, quit or crash and uh, Backblaze would no longer even recognize the drive uh, for backing up, which was a, an essential part of my uh, home server backup strategy. So initially, I thought that the problem was the uh, Drobo itself. So I tried to restart it, tried to use different USB uh, slots, but nothing seemed to work. But then uh, somehow or rather, another theory started to come up. I knew that there was a problem with WD, aka Western Digital, including uh, shingled magnetic recording, aka SMR drives, into their uh, NAS drive lineup, which is a big no-no when it comes to setting up uh, your RAID or equivalent system. Now, I won't go deep into why that is. There's a whole list of uh, YouTube videos out there that will explain to you why you can't include SMR drives into uh, your RAID system. 
In fact, uh, Drobo itself has uh, issued a statement saying that uh, such uh, SMR drives are uh, not compatible uh, with their products. So what's the similarity between that WD Blue and the Seagate Barracuda drives? So actually both of them were SMR drives, which I originally uh, overlooked. But uh, even when I included them into the system uh, knowingly, I thought that uh, it would not lead uh, to drastic problems in terms of uh, disconnections, only problems in terms of uh, performance. So in the end, I decided to buy another WD Red Plus. Now since then, the problem has seemed to go away. The, there's no more disconnections. The uh, performance of the Drobo has been uh, dramatically increased and there were uh, no more uh, quitting or sudden crashes of the uh, apps on my uh, computer, which at one point even led to uh, library corruptions. So uh, for those of you who own a Drobo, hopefully this was uh, useful in, uh, information when you try to troubleshoot why your Drobo is uh, behaving weir uh, behaving weirdly to the point of uh, disconnections. So even though Drobos are very flexible in which you can accommodate uh, 2.5 and 3.5 inch uh, disc sizes in uh, combinations of uh, capacities and uh, with, you can include a combination of uh, spinning disk drives as well as uh, SSDs, uh, you just can include SMR include it, uh, into the system, period. So if you like this, uh, please subscribe, like and share. And uh, till next time, thank you.